another video from Fast Tech, and this one I'm gonna be showing you guys how to factory reset your PS5. You might wanna factory reset your PS5 if you're selling your PlayStation to somebody else on the used market. Or the other reason you might wanna factory reset your PS5 is if you're having certain software issues, doing a factory reset on the PS5 and deleting everything off the SSD could help in certain situations. And also resets all your settings as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get past this PlayStation menu. We're going to select our user, which is Fast Tech in this case. We're going to go to the cog on the top right where it says settings. We're going to press that. Then we're going to go down to system. And we're, there's going to be an option on the bottom right that says reset options we're going to press that and at the very bottom there's going to be an option that says reset your console now before you do this you should know that everything on your ps5 is going to be wiped including your user data anything that's on the system is going to be wiped it's going to be like the system was when it came out of the factory so before you do that please be aware of that you're going to get a warning message that says all users and data will be deleted console sharing and offline play will be disabled for all users on this PS5. So since I don't have any data on this PS5 that I need, this is simply a test console for our YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna press reset. It's gonna give us another warning message. It says, if you reset your PS5, all users and data will be deleted from your PS5. Are you sure you want to continue? After you select yes, your PS5 will automatically restart and then it will be reset to factory defaults. So that means everything is wiped off the system. So be aware of this step when you're doing this. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're having software issues that are related to memory on the system and not a hardware issue, if it's something software related, in most cases doing a factory reset will fix your PS5. So we're gonna press yes and it's gonna restart the PS5. All right guys, that's another video from Fast Tech. Thanks for watching. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out. Please make sure to smash subscribe and smash the like button if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.